are back with Tommy Rocks. He's like the Beatle guy. But, uh, oh, and he also is the owner of Tommy Rocks Music Store in Jerome, if you've ever been up there. He also created the Jerome Ukulele Orchestra and the Sedona Ukulele Posse. I'm not sure what the difference is. We're going to find out. Last year, uh, he performed about 175 nights. His wife hardly ever sees him. No, I'm just kidding. And uh, you play not only original music, but covers of rock and, and roll, uh, roll, r rock and roll. <laughs> That's it doesn't roll off your tongue very well. <laughs> yeah. Rock and roll as well. Tommy yeah. Rocks, actually, a.k.a. Tommy Anderson. Great to have you back. It's been a few years. It's been a few years, yeah. yeah. I think the last time I was here, we did the, uh, the rebirth of ukuleles. Uh, because I'm an ukulele player. Yeah, and, and you say it ukulele. Is that the way it's the... It's ukulele, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's a Hawaiian word, and the Hawaiians really take offense if we say ukulele. Oh, yeah, they go, those crazy the Americans. Yeah, yeah. Of course, they're an American too now, so they sure, can't complain, sure. right? But and it's more fun to say ukulele. <laughs> so what's the difference between a ukulele orchestra and a ukulele posse, or is it just that one's in Jerome, one's in Sedona? A little bit with that. So, so it's been three and a half years ago that I started the, uh, the Jerome Ukulele Orchestra. And the reason I did it was just to bring the community together. Because oh, yeah. I noticed there was a lot of people, neighbors, and it's a small town, and they weren't really hanging out with each other. And, and mm. I thought, you know what the best way to do it? We'll play some songs, eat some food, have a drink. Nothing so like music and food to bring people together, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And ukulele. Ooh, I say yeah. it right? Yeah. <laughs> ukulele is, is huge. It just took this big upsurge, I think, when Jake... Shiva Bukuro. Thank you for saying that I just that for saw me. him last, uh, last week up in Flagstaff. Phenomenal. Here's a kid who just, you know, somebody posted him playing the ukulele on YouTube, mm -hmm. and now he's... Mm -hmm. He's huge. We saw him at the Orpheum in Phoenix a few years yeah. ago, and amazing Amazing kid. player. I mean, he can play, oh, I'm not going to be able to remember the song, but it's a very well, difficult Beatles song. Weeps. Weeps, thank he you, George Harrison that. song, does, you know, on uh, ukulele, yeah. you know? Uh, he does a song by Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody. I mean, you, you can well, do anything. And because you can probably do It's just do an that. instrument. It's a thing with strings. Yeah, but it's it's has less range than, let's say, a guitar, right? Less range, but you just work around that. It's, yeah. it's like driving a, a car or a truck, you know, you just drive them differently. You know. So how, how long have you been uh, playing the guitar and the, well, then, and then the ook came lady? Or, or, you said ook? Quite. That sounds really funny, you say no, ook. You, no, you would say uke, so yeah. that's where it gets confused. Oh, uke, uke or ukulele. And okay. it's a, I had to train myself to say it correctly. We all did. We all had to <laughs> right. relearn it. Yeah, so I started playing uh, guitar uh, right at the time that I was going in the Army. And previous to that, I was a farm kid, so I grew up on a farm in Minnesota. And, you know, I always loved music, but I never thought I could play guitar. Mm. Then I heard a, a statement by Henry Ford. He said, if you think you can or think you can't, you're right either way. Wow. So I thought, and he would know. who's stopping right. me from playing? So I traded my first really bad motorcycle for a really bad guitar. <laughs> And ironically, I still drive motorcycle. I still play guitar. But you have a better motorcycle now and a better mm. guitar. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you found out you could do it. Now, you also write your own music. I do, I do. All right. It's almost impossible not to write your own music. Once um, you get into it heavily, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I've got uh, 10 CDs out and a bunch of singles, and half of those are cover material, like Beatles or whatnot. Right. Oh, yeah. Half I have originals. I have a couple. We have, and now this is a Beatles one, Rubber Revolver, yeah. three or something. Yeah. So that came out uh, last January. Wow, so that's kind of a new one. I see we have Back in the USSR, and uh, I've just seen a face, Taxman, Eight Days a Week, Uncle Albert. I mean, th these are awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, jumping to the Beatles guy, speaking of, yeah. you know, they you are called the Beatles guy, and why? You know what? Uh, Round yeah. glasses. No. <laughs> no, you know what? This is just, I, I, need, to, I need to have these. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, it started probably 2005, 2006. Um, I threw together a band for a George Harrison tribute thing, and, uh, and the club owner wouldn't let us go. She goes, you got to come back. And I said, no, this was just a one-off thing. Mm -hmm. So she goes, no, talk to the band. And I had two girl background singers, keyboardists, bassists, you know, drums, the whole nine yards. Yeah. So I said, do you guys want to do this again? You want to come back? And they said, oh, of course we would. So then the next month was the anniversary of John Lennon's death. Oh. So it's like, well, if we're coming back, let's yeah, do all do. John Lennon. Sure. So we did all George Harrison that first time. Oh, all, all John the next time. You just keep and going. Then, yep. Now you have a gig coming up too. We've got a Flyer uh, Beatles gig thing coming up. Yeah, so next uh, Thursday, the 22nd, I'll be at Yavapai College on the big stage in Clarkdale. So it's over in Clarkdale the Clarkdale campus. Yep, yep, the Clarkdale campus. 
And Melissa and her husband can go to that. Yes, <laughs> yes. And, you know, and it's always fun. And, uh, in fact, I just was doing a couple shows last weekend. Um, once a month, I do a Beatles show on the final Friday of each month at oh, Vino good. di Sedona in Sedona. And I've been doing that a couple years. And uh, so what I started doing a couple years ago is I just put up a spare microphone. So if you're in the audience, you want to sing, just get up oh, and no, sing with it's me. Oh, no, it's a sing-along. So now I have a bunch of people that, so that cool. come every month. It's the biggest thing that's ever hit Sedona. Everybody the, loves the Beatles. Now, yeah. you do original songs, as you said. Now, this one is an uh, is original song CD. That is, right? yeah. Okay, will you play us an original song? I'll play you one that I just wrote last week, and oh, I finished okay. it this morning at about 6.20 this morning. All right, let's hear that original. It's a, it's a brand new song, and so it's never seen the light of day yet. And, and what are you calling this? I've got a great title for it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Like I'd Like to Like You. Oh, but I don't? <laughs> 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 All right. Once again, it has a little beetle kind of feel to it. All right, Tommy rocks. <laughs> time, love, like, all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Hey, listen, mm -hmm. how about while you're standing up there, do mm -hmm. a Beatles song, because I think you're going to do, like, my favorite Beatles song, right? There's a lot of favorite ones in there. But the one you mentioned. How about? Imagine. Sure. Yes, imagine. And you know what? This is a perfect song for the world today. So it, a lot of times I'll end my Beatles shows this way. It is so poignant. It's a good message to send home to everybody. Love it. We'll see if you're really the Beatles guy here. <laughs> Nothing to kill, nothing to die for. No religion to. I'm 
watching all the people living life in peace. You, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us And the world will live as one Imagine no possessions No need for greed or hunger. A brotherhood of man. Imagine all the people sharing Tommy Anderson. All the no, go world. We're going to be right back. You may say I'm a dreamer.